this is for you. Um, okay, can you please go to your book off workshop sheet? That looks a little bit like that. So it's really hard to say, book off workshop sheet. Um, and you're going to go to challenge three, working as an ensemble. So why is um, working as an ensemble vital to this play, Erin? Why is it vital to your play? The Jesus lots of choral work. Why in particular better your play if choral ensemble so important? Yes, you guys can write that down. You guys, obviously, chorus is important because there's a lot of, aren't there specific lines that just say for the chorus? Yes, okay. So it's actually written for a chorus. And as Erin said, Burkhoff includes a lot of chorus in it. Anyway, so ensemble skills are important. So you can write down yourself why you think it's a challenge in terms of performance? Performing with other people in that timing. But you only need to bullet point on these sheets because you're going to be writing it up. Maisie, why do you think working as an ensemble is difficult? Because you all have to do the movements in time. Exactly at the same time. And it's not just the movements with Burkhoff, it's your tone of voice as well, and it's getting the um, the intonation with your voice. It's totally perfect together, and especially if it's quite unusual. It's not just like with Brecht where you're getting things in time. What's even more tricky about getting your actions in time with Burkhoff? Think about what Bur Burkhoff actions are like. Yeah. And they're also... Big. So they're massive actions, they're really unusual, grotesque, creative actions. And so that's even harder to get in time because people might have slightly different starting abilities. So you might have like a person who can dance and then they do terrible. So it'll take me longer to train up to her standard. Okay. Um Elle, can you make sure that you're filling this in on the sheet please as well as we're going through? Um, okay, so the uh, workshop we have done so far, one, we're going to write down two different workshops. I've got a really fun game for you with this one. It's like one that I do with like key stage three music class. Oh my God, I'm teaching a key year seven in music class next week. Well, they're not going to know what's hitting. Um, what? I know, it's so much fun. I'm going to make them sing and dance. They're going to hate me. Um, right, okay, so the first workshop that we did was where we, uh, can you remember, what did we do, that was an ensemble one? But no, that, that, that was just a fun song. We did a task, what did I make you all do that we all practiced doing at the same time? Did we do it? No. No, that was where you made it bigger, and you got around, do you remember where I all got you to do the repeat, you all came up with your two new actions, and then we all performed it at the same time, yeah? <laughs> Could probably get me on it. Um, did you, you remember that one, don't you? You came mm -hmm. all up with a dance. <laughs> Listen, Stevie Wonder. Dun, 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 dun. And you all came up with a short action. Do we need it to do it again to refresh your memory? No. no. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah? So we all stood in it. So write down that first workshop. We'll do it again. Um, yeah, you have to dance. So that's the point, is that we're all in a big circle. You all come up with a big a, a big dance action, and then in time to the music, you all do short actions, and everyone else as a chorus has to follow them. And if they change it, you have to change it as well. But what, are you writing that down, Chloe? Have you got that one? Yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry, please, could you repeat that? Yes, I will, don't worry. Um, so it was that workshop, do you know where we all dance? We're in a circle, and what you do, if you had a piece of music on to play a beat, and someone in the group took turns to lead it, and then everyone in the group had to do it in perfect time with them, and as they got bigger, you had to get bigger. And then it swapped to lead and someone else had to do it. And there's two things that developed, working in time, but also working to a beat. Um, Matt, why is working to a beat quite important in Burkhoff? Uh, what does he use a lot of? Music? Yeah, he uses a lot of music, so he needs to be able to move to a beat. Some of you are great at that already. Some of you, that's a skill that you needed to develop. <laughs> okay, so for workshop two, this is exciting. Again, this is about moving, this, the, 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 the skill you develop in this is moving as a chorus 
with it looking seamless. So like you can't tell that it's changing, that you're all doing it perfectly in time with each other. So this is really your communication as a group, as an ensemble that you develop in this workshop. Um, so if you write down Indian Chief, that's the game we're going to be playing. It's the active workshop we're doing. So Indian Chief, and then if you put in brackets what you develop, develops your um, communica communicative skills with the rest of the group. Just as another workshop in that same under, you do two workshops for ensemble. So Indian Chief, and I'm going to explain to you what we're going to do. Right, tell you what, you can write it down to explain the rules and we're going to go and try and let's see if you can get it. Yeah, go to What, what, what? Oh, so it develops your communicative skills, so like being able to communicate with other people in your group and obviously timing as well. And it's quite positive. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go and sit in a circle over there. I'm going to send one person out of the room Okay, and then we're going to choose one person in the circle to be the Indian chief. And what we do then is the person comes back in the room and they're the detective. And they're going to stand in the middle. It's like, it's like a racist but murder. But instead, what we're, <laughs> what we're going to do... <laughs> I like that. Um, right, so we're all going to start clapping. So we're all going to start doing a sort Right, imagine I am the Indian chief. Okay, so... but. Matt doesn't know, Matt's the inspector. Because <laughs> he is. He's gone out. And then we give him a round of applause. He comes like, this is all they give him a slow hand clap. So I'll do it with me. Right? And you have to stand in the middle of the circle. And I slowly have to change it. And you guys have to do it as quick as you can. So he doesn't know. And we all have to try and do it at the same. You all have to do it in the same confidence as me. So it looks like you could be the leader. So obviously it has to be actions that are quite repetitive. So it's hard to... And we're subtly changing them. I'm running out of ideas. Let's try it. Matt, get out of the room. Right. <laughs> um, Elle, you got the point of that. I'm just going to freeze this for a second.